we will discuss a design activity model for the system. This is assignment number three. Let us see what are the experimental level outcomes for the given assignment to identify activity states and action states. Design activity diagram with the simulants using UML 2.0 notations for major use case of the system. It relates to the PO3, PO4, PO5, PO9 and PO12. So basically when you are doing your assignment number 3, we will be focusing on activity diagram. We will discuss activity diagram assignment today. What basically lies in the activity diagram? First, we need to define the system diagram by using use cases. After use cases, there will be a prediction of how use cases are executing one after another. We need to show the flow of the actions one after another. So we need to build activity diagram. Design activity model for the system. What is the aim? Aim is the making analysis of the system. It is analysis model. Identify project of the enough complexity with the four or five major functionality, with stakeholders, actors, and prepare a problem statement for the system. What basically activity diagram describes the workflow behavior of the system. These are similar to state diagram because activities are the state of doing something. The diagram describes the state of activities by showing the sequence of activities performed. Activity diagrams can show activities that are conditional or a parallel activity. Then when to use these activity diagrams? It should be used in conjunction with other modeling techniques such as the interaction diagram and a state diagram. So what is the reason to use activity diagram model? This is the workflow behind the system. These are useful for analyzing the use case by describing what actions need to take place and when they should occur. Describing a complicated sequential algorithm modeling applications with the parallel process. So activity diagrams do not take the place of interaction diagram and state diagrams. They do not give detail about how projects behave and how objects collaborate. Then to draw the activity diagram, read from top to bottom, which have branches and a force, which describe the conditions and parallel activity. So, a fork is used when multiple activities are occurring at the same time. But this indicates you can check in the diagram, this is the fork activity. So, here activity 1 is divided next to the either activity 2 or activity 3. Or branching will give you either the execution of activity 4 or activity 5. While merge is the joining of taking the outputs from activity 4 and from 5. So these operations you can check here. This particular dark line, rectangular line that is indicated by the or by a join is also indicated by the same line. So we need to specify what is the fork and join conditions. The branch describes what activities will be takes place based on set of conditions. All branches at some points are followed by a merge to indicate the end of conditional behavior. 
stated by the brand. After the merge, all the parallel activity must be combined by a join before transitioning into a final activity state. So, you can make a start operation activity. You want to make a the fork when two parallel activities are started executing. If you get any condition in between, make a branch operation here. After branching, you merge those conditions and then take the combined results from two branches and make it join at the activity shift. And you can take the end operation by using this particular end symbol. The diagram shows the flow of actions in the system workflow. So when you are making a parallel set of activities, we can use the swim lane. This particular diagram comes under the swim lane. You can check the swim lane is used to process flow diagram, flow charts that visually distinguish job sharing and the responsibilities for sub processes of a business process. Swim lanes may be arranged either horizontally or vertically. Here we can check the field order, say in our invoice, here you are using the siblings, parallel activities, either field order or same invoice. These are the parallel going activities. Rush order, overnight delivery, regular delivery, these are again parallel activities are going on. Then receive payment and it is ending. So basically, streamlined flowchart differs from the other flowchart in that the decisions group visually by placing them in lanes. Parallel lines divide the chart into lanes with one lane for each person, group, or sub-processes. Lanes are labeled to show how the chart is organized. So here, vertical direction represents the sequence of events in the overall process, while the horizontal division depicts what subject process is performing that state. So arrows between the lanes represent how information or material is passed between sub-processes. So flow can be rotated so that sequence is horizontally from left to right with the rows involved being shown at the left edge. So there is one streamline diagram mentioned here, withdrawal of money from a bank account through an ATM. So three involved classes are here like customer, ATM and a bank. You need to specify the objects or classes involved here. They are doing parallel actions. So customer, ATM, machine and a bank, three Streamline activities are parallel going. Customer insert card enter pin. These are the activity performed by the customer. What bank does? Bank does authorization of validation of pin. After validation, customer enters amount. What bank does? Check account balance. Again from bank to the customer, there will be a message checking the balance. Here, take money from slot. Debit account. Parallel activities are performing here and both the operations are like debit account and take money from the slot are joined at the ATM machine level. So at this particular state process, these are showing the balance because you will get the account details and you will get money from the slot. It again merges and then you get the card, taking card activity done by the user. So here you can draw different activity diagrams by using Streamlet. And while drawing the, drawing the diagram, remember that fork and join. You must use the operation of fork and join to draw the activity diagram. So 
So this is the conclusion. Since we can realize the real-time ATM system, we analyze different activity, its flow, and advanced features of the system, and draw the activity diagram in UML with the swindling. So this is the description from the manual. Then we will go for the actual drawing in Star UML. Now we will check how to draw activity diagram in star UML. So we will share the star UML here. Basically when you start with the star UML, already we have done one project of online grocery. So if I want to open my existing project, you say open, go to file, open and you will give your existing project online so can open. So in the same project, if I want to add my activity diagram to the right side corner of the model explorer, you can check the model is available online grocery system. In that model, you can see here use case diagram is already present. Now you can click on the same diagram, right click it. And say add diagram. In a diagram, go to activity diagram. So inside your same model, activity diagram with store. So for the activity diagram of online purchase of the grocery, we can check what are the different states and access available here. You can first get with the initial state. Initial state is this is here, the first symbol to getting the logic. Then action state you mention as the activity one. You can hit it. The first activity is your login activity as user first logins to the screen. This is corresponding to the login activity of the use case model. If you want to check the use case model also, just you can click on this diagram, you will get the use case diagram of the grocery system. It will be easy for you. If already users and actions are there in use case diagram, you can convert those actions into activity diagrams. Like what new user first does, register on a website, make a login, browse products, select product, enter quantity, check for a discount, make payment with the net banking card or COD options, then invoice get generated, update stock handled by the admin, then there will be a delivery agent, you actually deliver the product, report generations. So this part already we have analyzed in the use case model. So if now we are generating our activity diagram, you should remember all of these actions performed by the user. So in activity diagram, we will start with normally our activity login. We can connect with the normal arrow login activity. After that, just we have a two conditions whether our user is registered user or not. So we are making here branching. Branching operations gives you either the user will be a registered user or not. Login, we are making a two condition of branching. That branching will be for a registered user or whether it is he is a new user or not. So there will be a conditions we need to specify here. Like from login, there will be 
conditions you can write and you can make a horizontal streamline also. our online grocery shifting the logging and branching under logging is applied so what basically if you want to generate the streamlined transition because we have discussed use case diagram for the thing but in activity diagram we need to take the parallel activity as per the users if we can show as parallel activities so basically we can check in use case diagram here customer new user and a register user these are the primary actors while admin and delivery agent these are the secondary actors present so when we draw activity diagram, we must consider the role of primary actor as a user, register user. But for the secondary actors, we put the stream link so that we will get exact parallel activity in our diagram. So we have a four footing here, stream link, vertical, that is for customer then you can add another swim link that is required that is the authentication we want from the admin side you can put as a admin then one more partitions we need as a delivery agent or from the process which is used for from the delivery engine. So parallel activities can be performed at this level and we can show it. So to start with the customer we have already written the activities of login which is always a part of the customer those who are the new user and a register user if you want to specify also, you can specify. Then you check for the branching. After that, logging process is check whether the successful login or unsuccessful login. So here we can check that two conditions are available. If register user is have successful login you can draw here authentication you can provide in the admin that activity is it is the authentication activity done by the can say here authentication one of the activity at the admin level and it is generated from the decision if login is correct that is directly connected to the authentication part if you want you can write here the relationship name as if it is the correct authentication login is provided <laughs> then if you want to put 
the synchronization that two activities that if i want to make that is the operation for for can join so here with the decision you can see if the user is a new user and don't have a login but still users may use the operations like Branching, you can put here like first condition is either user will register himself or user can browse products because this as per the use case diagram. we have provided the functionality to the new user without registering he may browse the product but for purchasing registration is compulsory so that constraint we have put here so for the no condition if yes condition it goes to the admin side and it will give you the admin part authentication so if we want only to register or to base a product if the condition here is no you can mention the condition here no then two conditions are possible either he register for it or browse the product so here we have used the fork join this particular operation is known as fork join after browsing of the product what are the conditions we need to check the authentication so there will be again a branching decision symbol whether authentication is valid or invalid so put the two action steps here valid or invalid correct Condition is invalid. Credentials so, as per the invalid credential, next action is perform. You can see here. authentication if no condition you get the in i credit if you want to do yes condition the other action performed by the user is show the all products to the user display product you can connect to the condition that this so this is two condition possible here you can see if you will get a valid authentication display product so for display product You can say again. It is connected to the browsing or searching of the product from display product to the browse product is get connected because registered user can browse and search for the product. Then for select different product, what is the next action performed by the customer that is select 
After select product, the next action is select quantity. After selection of the quantity, we can add. of the action performed by the system. Here, from this product, you can connect a particular product and we are selecting a product. Don't forget to draw the connecting transition line from the next product. Select quantity in terms of connection line. In the case of fire, fire, so we need to click on the part, then place order. Place order. So we need to record all the activities performed by the One after another, it means of action performed. After that, we can change. After that, place order, there is a huge payment. The action space will be a huge payment. This option we are choosing. Here for the huge payment, we can use again the code because we are having a different condition for a payment method as we are connected to the different condition of the payment. So first we are connecting through net banking, I already we have discussed in this case, net banking will be one of the options, then card payment is one of the options, or POD, that one is already one of the options. So here we are using a fork operation to make these are the two comments and there will be a Under the customer side, so this is what happens to the admin side. Then we are taking a condition that this 
the product there will be a condition that a product found or not found select the product from it display product two conditions are possible Part 
from making the picture that is preparation of invoice and updation of the stock invoice generation For this, you can select this activity. So, this is what are the available activities. Now at the top, customer can see the after receiving order. Then after updating of the stock, here we can connect to the delivery system. That is the new application we have planned. After updation of the stock, we can be involved from and mean to the customer. Here, after updating of stock, add me on tag. Delivery part now from the After that, contact me with the remote system. It is connected to the updation of the stock. So, connect some updating of the stock to the Contact the user. Then, next activity is dispatch or these are the activities under delivery. The next activity after dispatch is order. Now, if the shipping details are connected to the activity of the customer, that is tracking of all. It is again connected with. As order and tracking order for customer. After that, when customer receive order, order it is again updated. By the delivery agent. So, it is the connected to the shipping uh, order to the update and shipping details is connected again to the receipt of the That is sometimes the first step. And at the end, add me closing the Order or form by order form by the action. So we can take action in the parallel action. What happens exactly at the customer end? What happens exactly at the agent that is delivering the all these are 
parallel activity and we will do in terms of final group this is a common and we let it go to the other so this whole diagram is your activity diagram very important try to use image we are using a vertical image to show the parallel activity of the customer and we can see it then what happens in the customer side what happens at the Now, let's make the delivery question. What are the parallel activities? So, this is regarding all activity diagram for online grocery shopping. One after another, it's the same project. How to drop 